Would you believe me if I told you that in coming years you will be able to meet your friends and family in a virtual 3D destination of your choice? This means that you will not have to visit them physically. You can even meet them in spite of being hundreds of kilometers apart. What if I tell you very soon it will be possible for you to do activities such as shopping, traveling, trekking, cycling and so on at a venue of your choice just by sitting in your room and wearing devices such as headphones? Now if you're thinking of calling me crazy then probably you haven't really heard of the word metaverse. So what is a metaverse? A metaverse is basically a combination of two words. The first is the prefix called meta which means beyond and verse here means the universe. Okay, so something which is beyond our current universe or you can even call it as a virtual world or a digital world. Okay, so a metaverse is a network of 3D virtual worlds focused on social connection. So as per the experts, the term is often described as an iteration of the internet as a single universal virtual world that is facilitated by the use of virtual and augmented reality headsets. It is a combination of multiple elements of technology that includes virtual reality, augmented reality and video where users live within a digital universe. Okay, so it's about being within the virtual world rather than having an access to the virtual world. It's about being always online rather than having an access to the online world. Okay, so in simple words, it's you and your digital avatar interacting with others in a digital environment. Okay, so those others can be your friends, your family or random strangers. Okay, so what exactly is an avatar? It is simply a 3D model which looks exactly like you. Okay, so virtual reality serves as computing platform for living a second life online. In short, with metaverse, your digital avatar will be as important as your physical identity. Your digital avatar will be able to perform all the activities that you can perform physically. Okay, the only difference will be that your digital avatar will do all of that in the metaverse. Okay, so let me give you one example of metaverse. So today, if I have to watch a cricket match, what I'll do, I'll simply turn on the TV, navigate to the channel and then I can watch it live. Okay, so this is merely a 2D experience. Okay, but with Metaverse, watching a cricket match will be an altogether different experience. I will have to put on my AR VR headphones, virtually navigate to the location where the match is happening. I can buy the tickets of that match using cryptocurrencies. Okay, and then I can watch the match in the 3D space by being on the stadium virtually. So this will give me a feeling that I'm physically present on the stadium and watching it live, whereas in reality, I am simply sitting in my room and wearing the devices or the headphones. Okay, so I hope you now have an idea of the term Metaverse. So from where did this word Metaverse originate? So this word was first used by the author called Neil Stephenson in his book, which was basically a science fiction novel called Snow Crash. Okay, so in this book, he envisioned lifelike avatars who met in realistic 3D buildings and other virtual reality environments. Okay, the metaverse isn't a new idea. The term has circulated for decades. Virtual reality, augmented reality and 3D computing, the technological concepts behind this metaverse are quite old. The only current boom behind this term is that how you can use all of this like virtual reality, augmented reality and 3D computing to make something which is very useful to each and every one of us. So the next question is, what will it be like to be in the metaverse? In metaverse, you wear a headset that immerses you in a 3D environment. You carry motion sensing controllers to interact with virtual objects and you can use a microphone to communicate with others. The idea behind metaverse is an immersive 360 degree digital world. You will have your own avatar, as I told you earlier, which you'll be able to design and your own digital assets, the titles of which will likely be recorded on a blockchain. Okay, for example, you can buy plots of digital lands and you can build online houses in which you can entertain your friends, okay, or you can call them for a party and so on. Okay, so to elaborate this further, I will give you one more example. 
suppose you want to attend the music concert of your favorite singer so your avatar in the metaverse will buy the tickets of that concert using digital currency and after that you'll be able to virtually attend that musical concert live along with your friends and hundreds of other people and then you can enjoy the music okay all the things we are already doing on the internet point to how the metaverse may grow in future it will be a bit of gaming some zoom telepresence instances of ar and vr and plenty of social media okay you can expect many attempts in the future to pull it all together so that it can be more fun and useful so the next important question is what kind of equipment do i need to enter the metaverse so that depends on where exactly do you want to go or what do you want to achieve okay for example there's this oculus quest 2 vr headphones by facebook okay and apart from that there are many vr headset maker companies such as valve htc hp sony and so on okay so by using these devices you can connect them with your pcs or even maybe you can connect them with your mobile devices and then you have the access to the metaverse or you can enter the metaverse okay so I believe the next big thing after the invention and the growth of internet is going to be metaverse. So that is the reason why Microsoft has acquired the game developer company called Activision Blizzard for $16.7 billion. Okay, and the reason for this acquisition was given that it will serve as a building block for the metaverse. Okay, and also the Facebook's founder Mark Zuckerberg has changed the name of his company Facebook to Meta. Okay, so the meta here represents the metaverse. Okay, so metaverse will take at least five to 10 years to be fully functional with day-to-day -day activities. As of now, it's too early to predict the popularity of metaverse. But one thing is for sure that metaverse is inevitable. It is the technology of the future. You might like it or you might hate it, but you will not be able to ignore it. Okay, so that's all from my side in this video on what metaverse is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and now you have understood the concept of metaverse. If you like this video then please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So thank you so much for being with us and stay strong as well as safe.